Welcome back guys, Drew here, beer for breakfast, facts for snacks, over the ocean beer. It's uh, Monday morning, uh, breakfast beer today, uh, why not, because um, that's in my name, breakfast, beer for breakfast, facts for snacks. Alright, we're going to do Facts Amber from Facts Brewery uh, in Denmark. I can't wait, I I need to do the 10%, they have a 10% one, and they also have uh, another one here I can get in... Um, um, Ontario, which reminds me, I have a Crest 10 I gotta get done too, but facts, Amber, haven't had this one, to be honest, I heard this one is one of their better ones, uh, $2.10 at the LCBO, that's why I paid for a 500 mil can, that's a half decent price, and if this is a half decent beer, I might be buying this more often just to have in the fridge, um, on on tap is 3.22 out of 5, with, uh, like 5,000 ratings, but it is, you know, I, I think that's um, more of a, I want to say like a, a newer version. I don't know, because there should be more than 5,000 ratings on Untapped. Um, on, at the LCBO, $2.10, Ted said, said a golden amber color with a fine muse aromas of bacon bits. Nice, bacon bits. Medium toasted malt and orange peel notes. Very creamy palette with dark malty flavors on the finish. Um... Doesn't really return for refund. It doesn't really. Uh, so, water, barley, malt. And then I can't read some of this stuff. Is that maize? I don't know what that is. Um, let's get into this, guys. For, uh, um, uh, yeah, for Victoria Day. Long weekend up here. Day off and uh, enjoying stuff and cleaning up the backyard, getting everything all ready for summer. Nice, look at this. And then, uh, hard pour in the last end. Why not? Because I can. Here we go. That looks all right. I could smell it from here. Sure, just waited. Ah, that smells, uh, okay. So it smells malty. I don't get bacon bits at all. Uh, toasted malts, yeah, for sure. But that's about it. Not much upside down snowfall. She is pretty flat. Yeah, I just wanted to have an over the ocean beer today. Um, and the can looks like this. I, I really should do Fax 10, and I, I might get that Friday and do it on a weekend or a weekend after. Um, I really should do the other one too. But yeah, uh, this was actually canned on. Canned on. Ah, okay. Okay, it's good. For April 17th, 2022. It was canned January this year, four months ago, in Denmark. Cool. Cheers. Gee, that's not bad. That's refreshing. It's a nice amber ale or amber lager. Um, I really enjoy this. Fax. Fax did a, a tremendous job. Um, 500 mil can, like I said. I'm glad that it's not being made over here in uh, Ontario or Canada or U.S. And it would be like the four, 473 mil. I don't like that. I want these. 500 mils. And that $2.10 a can, you can't go wrong with it up here. That's basically cost me $2 for this beer and then $0.10 cents for the deposit. That's fantastic for over the ocean beer. Yeah, to be honest. I'm going to be uh, picking up a few of these and just have in the back of the fridge because those hot summer days, this would just go down great. I'm liking this. This is uh, very, very tasty. And the can is pretty cool. It's, just, it's like an amber color, you know. And that's what it is. Amber, amber lager. That's it. Anyways. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the other two to do now. Yeah, this is tasty. This is, for over the ocean, you can't get much better than this. This is a solid 8 out of 10 for over the ocean. That, they did a fantastic job. Now, I know the 10 is going to be really sweet. I haven't had that one uh, in a long time, so I'm going to have to get that one. But this one right here, 8. I could definitely drink this. Um, yeah, go, go, if you don't, you know. Yeah, I buy two dollar cans like macro here in Ontario, but they're two uh, four hundred seventy three mil. I'm thinking this is basically 
the same price if you think with the uh, 27 more mil in the can. It's just fantastic. 8 out of 10, I love it. Yeah, I'll be back after. I might do two more reviews today, but um, if you try something different, guys, if you have a chance to find this, even in the States, please, Brian the Beer Snob, I haven't seen you uh, do a review on this. Try this out, buddy. This is really good. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll be back uh, later on. Have a good one. Cheers.